came up here. I remember when I was looking at Easy Speak, he had his title and his introduction a few days early. So great job on that. He also had the visual aids ready beforehand. Just a tip, you don't want to have you don't want to go for your speech and start fumbling around the computer trying to figure out your PowerPoint. So <coughs> great job at doing that. As for the speech itself, lessons are very dry. Because really, who likes going to school? I don't. <laughs> but I like how he used <coughs> personal stories within his within his speech. For example, in your inter introduction, he was talking about the conversation of his wife. And he was talking about how he joined Postmasters. And it made me think, you know, how did my first time here undergo, underwent? I also like how he talked about going beyond your comfort zone. Because if you want to take on the roles outside the club, you have to step out of your comfort zone to take on the challenge. One thing, one thing you can improve on is you stood in the middle of the room for most of your presentation. If you moved around a bit, use some of that vocal variety to make the stories more spicier, it would make the lesson a lot more interesting to listen to. Another thing you could do to improve uh, a lesson is that, for, for example, with a speech contest, you can do what Dennis did for his lesson. Pretend that you are going to run a speech contest. So you run up and go, hey, I'm your MC for the evening. I'm going to host a speech contest. My role here today is to do so and so and so. And you can run through the whole speech contest. It would be very interesting to see how it would go. I also, also, I also would like you to also focus on trying to bring that going beyond your comfort zone. You, you kind of have to work from the beginning, but if you continue, continue that theme throughout the speech, it wouldn't be more powerful. Because I remember when I was trying to get people, you know, contestants for the speech contest, I tell them, I tell them what a contestant would be, and they say, okay. And when you talk about going beyond your comfort zone, it, would, it motivates people to go further. But otherwise, I liked personalized stories. I liked how you talked, to, you pointed out the members who are the area governor and the district uh, club growth director. This way, people know that you know real people are actually doing this sort of stuff. And if they have any questions, they can go, they can go talk to them later on at the end of the meeting. But otherwise, great job. Continue pushing yourself and going beyond a comfort zone. Thank you. Thank you, Peter.